Welcome to Just Happy Drip 248. And this evening, uh, same old, same really, wet bread in a cage feeder on a size 10 barbless. It's 5.8 pound, 5.5 pound hook link flurry cup. 8 pound mainline. Let's see what we get. There's definitely roach down there. That's what I'm here for. I'm hoping this is where I, I filmed the wet field, by the way. And I, I showed you the, well, I'll show it now, actually, the, what it looks like now. I was gonna get here and see if there's any fish in the water, but definitely too late. Any herring gulls and et cetera, et cetera, would have finished them off. But I reckon they would have easily made, easily made their way back into the river. Some of them, if they were all roach, some of them looked whopping. And if they're feeding now, like they were then, I might catch one. Let's have a carry. Put my smallest feeder on, by the way. So, because uh, I'm going to have to do a lot of casts. I didn't I strike on that one. <laughs> it's so hard to tell though when you I use a feeder. It's not hard to tell that the rod's moving. It's hard to tell if, it, if it's the fish with the bait in his mouth or the fish moving the feeder. I think that was moving the feeder. The good news is it's a fish. Still miss definitely roach bites. You, you'd think I, that was hooked, but it wasn't. It was God knows how. Snake. Snake. I'm almost certain that's a grass snake, and it's quite funny why, because actually I I filmed a snake here once before, three or four years ago, and I uploaded a video and I said, Adder swimming in the Bristol Avon. And a few people also commented saying, 100% a grass snake, 100%. Adders don't go near water. So yeah, it's a grass snake, most probably. I 
think the hooks come out in the net. Yeah. It's fine. I'll keep it in, in the net. There we go. But you can see that. Lovely. I love a good roach. That's bigger than my hand. There's next to my head. I'll put this right back. The roach in that big landing then doesn't do it justice really but I don't want I didn't want to use my small roach landing net here just in case I do hook a good bream or a chub maybe a carp you never know so that's why I've got my big one it's just looking away and I got a good pipe always away Something, something just made an almighty big um, sploosh up, just up there. But I can't see an otter. I can't see a bird. So it must have been a fish. I think it might be a pike, so I'm not going to go for it. It's not actually that big. <laughs> Hooks come out of the net again. I thought that was much bigger. There it is. Maybe a little baby. Well, not baby. Let's try it back. 